डियर स्टूडेंट टूडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट वोल्टेड कनेक्शन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड नो वॉट इज बोल्ट बोल्ट इज लाइक दैट ओके दिस पोर्सन इज कॉल्ड हेड दिस पोर्सन इज कॉल्ड शंख and this portion is called thread okay so let's see a bolt is a metal pin with a head formed at one end and shank threaded at the another end in order to receive a knot on the basis of load transfer in the connection bolts are classified as bearing type and friction grip type okay you can see the picture of bolt you already know this is called head and this portion is called shank and this portion is called thread okay and this portion is called run out here this portion to this portion is called normal length this portion to this portion is called grip length and rest of them this portion to this portion is called thread length okay you can see another picture of bolt you can see bolt as well as knot okay next topic is types of bearing bolts so there are two types of bearing bolt namely unfinished or black bolts and second finished or turn bolts i will discuss about it unfinished or black bolts the shank of black bolt are unfinished okay that means shank or shank is not finished okay here you can see the shanks of black bolts are unfinished that is rough as obtained at the time of rolling okay for black bolts diameter of bolt hole is larger and are used in a most of arc okay a black bolt is represented as m60 m20 m30 etc etc which mean black bolt of a nominal diameter of 16 mm black bolt of a nominal diameter 20 mm etc if m20 that means nominal diameter of a bolt nominal diameter of a bolt is 20 mm if bolt is denote m16 then nominal diameter of a bolt is 60 mm if m30 is denoted then nominal diameter of a bolt is 30 mm okay so next is finished or turn bolts 
टर्न बोल्स आर ऑबडेन बाई टर्निंग हेक्सेगोनल शंक टू सर्कुलर शेप ओके द बोल्ट होल डायमीटर इज ओनली वन पॉइंट फाइव एम एम लार्ज सॉरी एम एम लार्जर दैन दैट ऑफ शंक इन केस ऑफ टर्न बोल्ट ओके टर्न बोल्ट लाइक दैट ओके दीज बोल्ट आर यूज इन ए स्पेशल जॉब लाइक कनेक्टिंग मशीन पार्ट सब्जेक्ट टू डायनेमिक लोडिंग टर्मिनोलॉजी द फॉलोइंग टर्म्स यूज इन ए बोल्ट कनेक्शन शुड बी पीच ऑफ बोल्ट व्हिच इज डिनोटेड बाय पी गेज डिस्टेंस व्हिच इज डिनोटेड बाय स्मॉल जी एंड एज डिस्टेंस व्हिच इज डिनोटेड बाय स्मॉल ई सो What is piece distance of bolt? It is the center to center spacing of bolt in row measured along the direction of load. Mind it, measured along the direction of load. Okay. And then gauge distance. It is the distance between the two consecutive bolt adjacent row and is measured at right angle of direction. of load okay and edge distance is it is the distance of bolt hole from the adjacent edge of the plate okay so let's see the picture this is a picture of connection bolt connection this p and this p is a load ओके, शो, दिस इज रो दिस इज रो एंड दिस इज रो दिस डिस्टेंस सेंटर टू सेंटर्स सेंटर टू सेंटर डिस्टेंस इज कॉल्ड पीस डिस्टेंस एंड इन दिस डिस्टेंस सेंटर टू सेंटर डिस्टेंस इज गेज डिस्टेंस एंड in this type of distance is called is this is distance okay and this is called end distance okay this line is called pitch line okay and this line is called gauge line okay now grade classification of bolts the grade classification of bolt is indicative of strength of material of bolt the two grade of bolt commonly used that is 4.6 and 8.8 what is the meaning of 4.6 and 8.8 for 4.6 grade Four indicate that ultimate tensile strength of bolt. Okay, that is called F U B. Four into hundred. Clear. And point six indicate that yield strength of the bolt. Clear. That means F Y V. into ultimate strength that is 0.6 into 400 which is equal to 240 newton per millimeter square clear the yield strength f suffix yb and ultimate stress f suffix ub for standard grades of bolt are given in the table below you can see the table 
हेयर ग्रेड ऑफ बोल्ट हेयर अल्टीमेट स्ट्रेस दैट इज एफ यू बी इन न्यूटन पर मिलीमीटर स्क्वेयर एंड यल्ड स्ट्रेस दैट इज एफ वाई बी न्यूटन पर मिलीमीटर स्क्वेयर so in this table you can see for grade 4.6 ultimate stress is 400 okay and grade 5.6 is ultimate stress is 500 grade 6.6 sorry 6.5 ultimate stress is 600 For grade six point eight, ultimate stress that is F U B is six hundred. For eight point eight, ultimate stress is eight hundred. Okay. Yield stress for four point six yield 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 stress is two forty. Okay. And for grade five point six, yield yield stress is three hundred. And grade of bolt for six point five is point five into six hundred. That is equal to three hundred. Okay. And six point eight is point eight into six hundred. That is equal to Four eighty. For eight point eight grade is yield stress is point eight into eight hundred. That is equal to six forty newton per millimeter square. Then we should have to know codal provision. That is specification. We should we should have to know is eight hundred two double zero seven. I is eight hundred two double zero seven. As per codal provision, I is eight hundred two double zero seven. Teach P shall not be less than two point five D, whether where D is the nominal diameter of bolt. You can see the clause of ten point two point two of code I is eight. Double zero, two double zero seven. And second provision is, teach P shall not be more than. Number one, sixteen T, or two hundred mm, whichever is less. In case of tension. Okay, in case of tension member. Also, you can see the clause ten point two point three point two. Okay, and we twelve T or two hundred, whichever is less in case of compression member, where T is thickness of thinnest member, and see in case of staggered pitch. Pitch may be increased by fifty percent of value specified above, provided gap distance is less than seventy five mm. Okay. Ten point two point three point four. Okay. Clause number. And next provision. In case of bar joint, maximum pitch is to be restricted to four point five d. Okay. For a distance of one point five times the width of plate from the butting surface. Okay. And next is next provision for the gauge. The gauge length G should not be more than hundred plus forty or two hundred mm, whichever is less. Okay. Next provision: Minimum edge distance shall not be number one less than 
वन पॉइंट सेवेन इन टू होल डायमिटर इन केस शेयर और हैंड फ्लेम कटेज ओके बी पोर्सन इज लेस देन वन पॉइंट फाइव इन टू होल डायमिटर इन केस ऑफ रोल्ड मेसिन फ्लेम कट शॉन एंड प्लेन इज इट इज क्लॉज नंबर टेन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट टू यू कैन सी द कोड नेक्स्ट प्रोविजन मैक्सिमम एज डिस्टेंस दैट इज ई शुड नॉट एक्सीड ट्वेल्व टी कैपिटली हुएर ई इज रूट ऑफ आर टू फाइव जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई एफ वाई एंड टी इज द थिकनेस ऑफ थिनर आउटर प्लेट इन दिस क्लॉज टेन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट थ्री ऑफ कोड आई एस एट हंड्रेड टू डबल जीरो सेवन एंड बी फोर प्लस फोर टी where t is the thickness of thinner connected plate if exposed to corrosive influences okay then i will discuss types of bolted connections okay types of joint may be gra grafted into following two number 1 lab joint and bar joint okay lab joint is like that this is bolt okay and bar joint is like that this is cover plate ओके इट इज द सिंपलेस्ट टाइप ऑफ जॉइंट फॉर द लेब जॉइंट इट इज द सिंपलेस्ट टाइप सिंपलेस्ट टाइप्स ऑफ जॉइंट इन दिस प्लेट टू बी कनेक्टेड ओवर लेब ऑन अनदर ओके फॉर बार जॉइंट इन दिस टाइप ऑफ कनेक्शन द टू मेन प्लेट्स ओके अबाउट एगेंस्ट एच अदर एंड कनेक्शन इज मेड बाय प्रोवाइडिंग सिंगल कवर प्लेट कनेक्शन टू मेन प्लेट फॉर डबल कवर नाउ आई विल डिस्कस टाइप्स ऑफ बोल्टेड कनेक्शन शो लैब जॉइंट कनेक्शन एंड बार जॉइंट कनेक्शन फॉर लैब जॉइंट लैब जॉइंट इज लाइक दैट दिस इज ए प्लेट दिस इज अनदर प्लेट एंड दिस इज ए बोल्ट ओके दिस इज ए फोर्स लैब जॉइंट इज लाइक दैट एंड बार जॉइंट इज like that this is plate this is another plate okay and here cover plate here also cover plate and here load here also load okay if both side cover then cover then called double cover bar joint if single side cover if single side cover then it is called single cover bar joint clear you can see the picture of lab joint and bar joint this is a lab joint this is a plate this is load this is load you can see the 
प्लान व्यू ओके सिंगल लाइन बोल्टिंग ओके हियर यू कैन सी बार जॉइंट ओके हियर सिंगल कवर बार जॉइंट ओके थैंक यू इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी इन दिस चैप्टर प्लीज कमेंट इन कमेंट सेक्शन ओके थैंक यू